Hey everybody, what's up? It's Spence. Oh my god, my hair. Fuck, lock. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go, that's a little better. Uh, anyway, it's dorky development time. <laughs> I'm trying to do these videos a little bit more organized. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized with the videos that I'm doing. So, uh, one thing that I came up with is that I'm, I'm coming at you. I'm coming at you with these, uh, these, uh, <laughs> self-development principles and topics and stuff. I like using my webcam as a mirror a little bit. I'm coming at you with all these ideas, these self-development ideas. But sometimes I don't have the best train of thought, you know. I'm, do I'm winging these things. I'm doing them on the fly, right? And sometimes they just kind of come out a little jumbled, you know, and I'm not very prepared and stuff. But now I'm trying to uh, be a little bit more prepared, have some examples and stuff, right? So today... Uh, I just had a pretty long talk with my roommate, and it was like he was just talking about. He's telling me this work story that he had from work, uh, and I just thought like this is such a great example of a principle that's in self development. So I thought I'd just share that with you right away while it's still on the fresh part of my brain. I'm probably gonna like do a little bit more writing down to like be a little bit more professional even than this in the future, but not necessarily professional because that's not what we're that's not what we're about. We're, just, we're about being real. So anyway. <laughs> after all the jibber jabber um, so I'm having this talk uh, and my roommates tell me this story and he so he works as a cashier right and there's a thing going on where it's a place where he works that they've been getting hit by qu these quick change artists and I don't if you don't know what that is it's like this person who like uh, kinda scams cashiers into giving them more money than they, they should have or whatever right so because of that he like anything above like ten dollars or something for change he can't uh he can't give them change it's not store policy so what happens <coughs> is that uh what happened is that this lady came to him and was like can i get change for the for this for this money i have here and he was like no sorry i can't do that anymore and she was like what that's not very good customer service and he's like yeah actually i i agree but uh but uh there's nothing i can do about it anymore it's store policy if you have any problem with it you can talk to the guy at the, the help desk there, and, uh, you know, he can help you out. And then she just goes, uh, well, no, that's, well, that's, you know, that's, that's not acceptable, blah, blah. She kind of just gets mad at him, right? And then she, she makes her payment, everything goes the way it should, and then he watches her get out of the, the line and then walk right past the guy at the help desk who could actually do so, like, who could actually gave her the change, who could have actually, you know, would have been the right person to talk to about that situation, right? And this is just a perfect example, right, of people who are unwilling to step out of their comfort zone at all in any way. And it's really bad. If you want to be, your, like, a good person, you want to be that self-development, fulfilled self who is actually going after goals and doing things that they should do, you have to be able to do that, right? Because there's so many people who'd be just like that little old lady who are like, all right, I'm in the grocery store, so I'm going to go, I'm going to get my groceries, I'm going to go to the cashier, <coughs> I'm going to do minimal interacting with them, and as little as I can with them, and just be done with it, and that's my habit, and that's what I do. And if there's any problems, I'm just totally fucked, basically. It, it's Because these people, there's a lot of people who, like, if the, anything happens, anything that is not a part of their plan happens, they just blame, 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 blame everyone but themselves, but they can just take like, a little tiny small action to help themselves out. But most of the time, they won't. They won't do it. Because they're not used to doing it. Because they don't feel like they have to do it. Because they feel like the world owes them something. They're entitled, right? And entitling is kind of, entitlement is kind of a double-edged sword, right? On one hand, it can be good to feel like, uh, to have, to, to say, I have high value. You know, I'm, I feel good about myself. And that means I deserve this and that and this and that. And uh, basically, the way I like to think about entitlement is you don't deserve shit. You don't deserve anything to have anything done for you or any of your problems solved for you. You have to do that yourself. The good part of entitlement is when you, like, really, it's the self-love thing. It's like when you look at it and you go, 
listen, <clears throat> it's kind of the opposite end of that, where it's like, if you feel bad about yourself, if you're like, oh man, I'm, you know, I'm not worth anything, I'm not, no, you, you are, like, you have to unidentify with, like, the negative stuff, and be like, no, yeah, it's like, I, I do deserve, you know, this and that and this, but you don't, no one owes it to you, you deserve to give yourself, you deserve to be good to yourself, right? Uh, nobody owes you anything, the society, the environment is, doesn't care about you, it does not give you anything, it doesn't owe you anything, it's up to you, it's you're responsible to get all the things you want for yourself, right? And when you take that on, it's it can it's a good thing, you know, when you it, it's when life starts happening, it's when you start making progress. So anyway, that's just my little rant for today about people who can't seem to uh, you know, they just don't want to change at all. And they don't know. It's you can't blame those people because it's not it's <clears throat> again, it's not it's not their fault. They're, like ignorance is nobody's fault. It's just it's a good it's a good example. It's a good example of how if you're not careful, if you're not aware, you can live a life of suffering and pain because you were just you were too busy to think um, that you could change anything, and you were too afraid to step outside of your comfort zone even a little tiny bit to even just try to get the outcome that you wanted. Uh, so. My challenge to everyone out there, all of you, anyone watching, is the next time you find yourself frustrated by a certain situation, I don't care what it is, you just, something happens to you, and you're like frustrated, and you're just like, oh, what, oh, but, oh, come on, just, just try to take a deep breath, just take a nice deep breath, and be like, is there anything I can do to help myself out here? Is there anything I can do to change this frustration that I have right now? To change what's going on and maybe make my situation better? Like, just really think of it. Nice deep breath. Big long breath out. And just be like, what can I do to, to fix my situation? What, what, must, what haven't I done in the past that I could do now that would help and we can move forward. I need to do something different. Obviously, the thing I've been doing has not been working. You have to do something different. You have to make a change. You have to step outside your comfort zone. And uh, if you can do that just a little bit, like 1% each day, you're going to live a life that's going to be a lot more fun and a lot less stressful. Uh, so that's it for me today, everybody. Thanks for watching. As always, I love you guys. You're all you're great. You you got the best audience. This is the best audience I could ask for. My audience is huge. It's <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. So long. Goodbye now. Goodbye now, y'all.